And welcome back. Here's a look at some of the political headlines of the past week. The latest campaign finance report shows a high dollar governor's race and the challenger has now slightly surpassed the governor in cash on hand. O'Rourke raised $25 million from July through September. Governor Abbott with just less than that. The governor has still spent $53 million though. That's $21 million more than O'Rourke. And for the hottest race here at home, the political action committee behind our road bond has raised just over $93,000. They say they plan to campaign for the bond with TV and radio ads, but as of the last report, they've only spent about $400 on road signs. And I spoke with the citizen leaders behind this bond campaign this week. Here's what you need to know. This money is going to be used to improve the roads in our city. Paving Lubbock's future pack, making the case for safer streets. Citizens can have confidence that we're funding the right types of projects with the right type of funding. The latest bond targeting 22 miles of roads, like modernizing 34th Street with lighting and sidewalks, adding a lane to East 82nd Street and three more lanes to 114th. The total package expanding dozens of major streets and repaving residential roads, identified by a committee of citizens from each city district. All in, costing $200 million over five years. The committee felt very strongly that we have a lot of needs associated with growth. So I think people want to know that the city is is going to put out the projects that it really needs, not once. The key differences from the last bond, this package covers twice as many miles of roadway for $25 million or 14% more. Also, there's no money allocated to fix Broadway, something advocates hope to sell as the skinniest but most effective package. It's very important that we invest in our city in a way that really is spread out over the time that it's going to benefit the population. And for a minimal individual investment of about $16 per year, look at what an impact that you can make in the city of Lubbock. Ryan Chandler, KMAC News. That election is on November 8th. We'll be right back.